Hello and welcome to the Salesforce Health channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about email templates and I'm going to tell you that what email templates are, uh, where they are used and how to create it in Salesforce Classic and Lightning. So let's begin. Now let's see that what email templates are. Email templates allow us to send emails using predefined templates. Okay, so to explain email templates to you, let me take an example. Uh, have you ever used messaging templates to create a template uh, of a message that you use generally? Like for example, uh, if you're driving and you just like get a call on your phone and then just you like swipe up or like just click on a single message and that message gets sent automatically. It doesn't mean that you have written that message on that moment only. You have already stored a general or a, like a normal to use or a frequently used message into a messaging template and uh, like you have used that messaging template whenever you want to send that message. Same goes with email templates. Email templates are used whenever you want to send a particular email in a particular format to any of your contact or any of your lead, any of your customer or or on any email you can send that uh, like send that email uh, using that email template and now let's see what the second point is these email templates can be used in automation with email actions or while sending emails manually okay so uh, i mean there comes time when uh, you want to like i mean you want to automate your business process and in that situation uh, there is an automation in which you want uh, an email to be sent automatically whenever a particular thing happens or whenever a particular record gets created and meets the criteria or whenever a particular situation happens. In that situation, in that automation, you'll create an email alert. But what, like, I mean, if it is an automation, then there'll be no user or there'll be no human interaction that will go on. So who will write that email or like what like content will be there in that email? So the content which will be included into that email will be controlled by email template only in that email template you set up for particular format that uh, which you want to send uh, which you want to send to that particular person whom you are sending the email and that uh, like using that email template the email will go to that person uh, using the like data or using the i mean information which you want to send send into that email using email templates not only that i mean you can i mean you you like you can use it in workflows you can use it use it in process builders you can use it in assignment rules you can use it in uh, web 2 case or auto response rules and many places where automation goes on like but still email templates are not restricted to automations only they can be used whenever uh, like uh, manually only like they can be used when you are sending an email manually only uh, manually also by using the uh, button of send email on the activities tab uh, like um, like whenever you want to send a particular email like uh, you have got a new lead and you have uh, like got his information his or her information and you want to send them an email just of a greeting that uh, glad to connect with you or something like that so you don't want to write that email again and again to every new lead you meet so in that situation you have already created an email template and whenever you are trying to send uh, that particular lead uh, an email you will click on send an email and you will select that template and that email will be sent automatically to that particular lead. So you can use uh, email templates in automations also, or uh, like and uh, like sending while while sending emails manually also. Now let's see that how many types of email templates do we have in Salesforce. So basically, email templates are of four types. The first one is text. It's very simple. You just have to write down the text, and that uh, that text will be sent as an email. So it's the very basic one. Now let's move on to the second one that is HTML using letterhead. I hope you must be knowing that there are uh, HTML emails also. You don't know? Okay. So have you seen an email with an advertisement uh, on which the, like you can see the images, you can see the links and you can see everything that gets visible on a web page also. So that email is HTML email. And in that email, like whenever you click a, like a new a web tab or something like that opens up. So that is basically an HTML email. You can create an HTML email in Salesforce also and with using letterhead. Basically letterhead is the uh, like is a particular format uh, which you use to send emails from your company. It's basically a uh, like it's basically used uh, to like I mean it's basically a paper format or uh, like I mean 
a format in which uh, like all the legal work goes on for your company so you can send an email send an html email using letterhead also for that you first have to create a letterhead and then you you can create an html email template with letterhead and uh, if you don't want to create using the letterhead you don't want that particular format you want a completely different format in that situation you have the third one html without using letterhead in this you can like create an html email uh, like as you want and as you like and there is no need to use letterhead over there so you can use the third one and if all of these three doesn't suit your requirement you want something else then you can use visual force using a visual force email is not that easy because uh, like you have to uh, code, code a little bit but uh, visual force email gives you certain uh, extra features like if you want to get data from multiple objects or from multiple records in a single email in that situation you can use visual force email templates now let's see that which users can create which type of email template so basically text emails can be created by all users in your organizations yes i mean all the users can create email templates of type text but html templates using letterhead can be created by administrators plus users with edit html templates permission on their profile so what that means is only administrators and users who have edit html templates permission on their profile can create this type of email template and also html without using letterhead can also be created by only these types of users not by any other users in your organization whereas visual force uh, email templates can be created by administrators and developers now let's see that which users uh, like i mean which users can use these email templates in your org and like how it uh, like it, it's controlled that which user can use which email template because you want your email template to be used by only you not by anyone else so what will you do in that situation so let's see that now let's see that which users can use which email templates so access to email templates are controlled by folders yes uh, like if you want to use an email template then you should have access to the folder in which that email template is and every email template needs to be stored in a particular folder so if the user has uh, like have access to that if, if the user has access to that folder in which that email template is only then he'll be able to use that email template otherwise he'll not be able to use it make sure that you uh, like you're clear with that and uh, there are two folders by default in every org that are unfiled public email templates and second one my personal email templates yes uh, these are the major two uh, i mean email templates which we have uh, sorry major two folders which we have in every org the first one is unfiled public email templates this folder is public and what i mean by public is that every user who can use an email template can access the email template which is in this folder so if you want an email template to be used by all the users then save it into unfiled public email templates folder and if you want that uh, only you should have the access to the email template you are creating then there is another folder my personal email templates in uh, like in which you should store that email template so only you and only you can access that email template no one else no other user in your org can access the email template which is in my personal email templates can access that particular email template what i mean to say is that uh, only the user uh, i mean only, only the user who is creating that email template can use that email template no other user will be able to use the email template which is in my personal email templates folder so now let's see that how we are going, going to implement or how we are going to create an email template in our salesforce org so let's go and uh, basically in lightning and in salesforce classic the methods are the same to create an email template and that is you first need to go to setup from here and i'm already into the setup and in the quick find box just write down email templates and click on email templates click on new template there are already uh, certain email templates which are created by the salesforce that are provided by default by the salesforce which you can use and you can customize them according to your needs and requirements or if you want to create a uh, like complete new email template just click on new template and over here uh, as we have under, like discussed earlier there are four types of email templates 
text html custom uh, html without using letterhead and visual force here are all these types i just want to create a text email template and i'll click on next okay so uh, i mean first of all you have to select that in which folder this email template should be stored um, like you cannot store any email template without a folder so i mean we know that there are two folders that are already created in every org unfiled public email templates and my personal email templates select the folder in which you want to store this email template and check available for use checkbox if you want to use it anywhere into any email alert or whenever you are sending an email uh, using a button or whenever you are sending an email manually and in the email template name just enter the name of the email template uh, by which you want to identify this email template uh, i'll enter as test email template and select the encoding Give the description whatever you want to give. I am creating this email template just for fun. Whatever you want to give, and over here write the subject of that email. Whatever subject you want, uh, to like to write over here. And uh, I want to write like um, congratulations. Yeah. So um, welcome to the Salesforce Ohana. Yes, this is a subject and in the email body, hello, congratulations, you are now part of Salesforce Ohana, uh, hope you have a great journey, make sure to check our new trailblazer community thanks okay so this is how you uh, you create an email template uh, a text type of email template and that's all but if you want this email template to be personalized and what i what i mean by personalized is you want this email template to have information uh, like to have information related to that record on which we are sending an email uh, like for example, we are sending this email to a contact and in that situation uh, over here you can enter like I mean over here you can select the merge fields which you want to enter into the uh, like into the email template and those merge fields will show the value uh, like present on that uh, like present uh, like show the value of the field present on the record because of which that email alert or that email is going on or we are sending that email. So let's say we want to uh, like we don't want to send simple hello we want to send hello and then the first name and in that situation I'll select contact fields over here and then select uh, first name yeah over here it is and I'll copy this merge field and then simply just paste it okay in this situation the email template which will run for contact John uh, will be like hello John congratulations you are now part of uh, Salesforce Ohana and if I uh, like if th this email is uh, we are sending this email to contact Mark then in that situation this email will be like hello Mark congratulations you are now part of Salesforce Ohana so this is how you can uh, like I mean make an email template customized or uh, like personalized in fact and like this is all what we do using a Salesforce CRM so that our users uh, like so that our customers feel that uh, like I mean they are being listened to or and they, they are getting personalized emails uh, like what happens with Amazon also like whenever you uh, like I mean whenever you request an order you automatically get an email that hello your name then the, your order your number then your product which you have purchased from Amazon so no one is writing all those things over there those values are coming in that email with the help of merge fields and merge fields uh, like make sure like let, let me show it to you okay uh, merge fields always and always starts with a curly brace and an exclamation then the object name and then dot and then the field name and it ends with a curly brace again so this is how merge fields work okay now simply save it that's it this is how you create an email template also if you want to add any attachment to this email you can simply attach a file over here like this i mean if you want to like select any file from your computer click over here choose the file attach this file and then done 
and that attachment will also be like I mean that file will also go as an attachment in that email so this like I mean uh, there comes a situation in which you want to send an attachment with the email also so in that situation use this feature and that's it finally <laughs> and that's all what you need to know about email templates now don't forget to hit the subscribe button over here and if you're watching this video on Facebook or LinkedIn there's a link down in the description or in the comments just hit that link go to the YouTube channel Hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this that will not only help you enhance your career in Salesforce but also to make your career in Salesforce. So, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now. See you next week. And then, bye bye. Take care.